Hey guys, what's up? Welcome to 40 Rounds. I'm Chris Ford, aka 40. Right, this video is a review of the Brightest Marathon 2018, so let's get stuck in. Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to 40 Rounds. I'm Chris Ford, aka 40. This is the YouTube channel for the everyday runner. If you are new to the channel, make sure you're hitting that subscribe button down there to stay up to date with all the latest running videos. Also, get over to Facebook. We've got a 40 Runs uh, group started this week, and so get over to that and check that one out. Click the little uh, join group button and say we'd love to see you on there as well. This video is the 2018 Brighton Marathon. A friend of mine who's part of the 40 Runs group, uh, he's got his own channel called Here We Are Running, that's Chris. Um, he went and done the 2018 Brighton Marathon. Now, he's kindly agreed to review that for us. So here is his review of the 2018 Brighton Marathon. Hi guys, my name's Chris and I have recently run the Brighton Marathon. And Chris Ford got in touch with me and asked me if I would do a review for his channel. So here it is. Let's start with what happened before the race day. Now I registered for the Brighton Marathon about a year beforehand and I did so on their website and that all went really smoothly. And then throughout the year, they sent regular emails containing advice and information about the event. So I was well prepared before I actually turned up on race day. Now you had to collect your race pack from the event village down in Brighton. Now for some people that might not be too convenient, but uh, they wouldn't send it out at all. The event village itself was at uh, the seafront in Brighton um, and yeah, and, and it went all very smoothly picking it up. Didn't have to queue at all. Now I picked it up on the Saturday. Uh, you could have gone for the Saturday or the Friday. I picked it up on the Saturday, probably late morning. So there may have been queues later in the day as more people arrived for the weekend. But for me, no queues at all. So that was a little bit about the pre-event um, and what happened. So for that, I'm going to award it Four out of five. Would have been nice to have the option to get the race pack sent out. Now let's move on and look at what happened on the actual race day. Now the first thing I'm going to talk about is what happened at the start of the race. So the start of the race for Brighton Marathon is at Preston Park. Uh, it's a big open area. Uh, they had it all laid out really well. Um, it was a good atmosphere when I arrived there about an hour before the race was due to start and very well organized bag drop and big screen and uh, yeah good build up at the start of the race now there were lots of toilets of course at the start of the race there's always queues for the toilets but the one good thing I found about uh, Brighton they had additional toilets in the start corrals so whilst you're waiting in there you, if you hadn't gone beforehand because of the queues or if you just needed to go again then you could and even beyond that as you walked from the corral to the start line there were rows of toilets along the road that you're walking along so you got the option to go again there so I thought that was a really good idea and for that for the start of the race I'm going to award it five out of five Now let's move on and look at what happens during the race and particularly the course. So the first half of the course is quite hilly. Now I didn't really appreciate how hilly it was um, before I ran it, but it is quite a hilly first half of the marathon. Second half is much flatter, but you've got to be careful that you don't go out too fast and um, exert too much effort on those hills in the first half. Um, save something for the, the, the latter part of the race. Yeah? Now all the way along the route the crowds are brilliant, the, the support is absolutely fantastic and really worth getting your name printed on your uh, running vest because if you do that they will be shouting your name and offering encouragement to you all the way around especially when it's starting to get really tough. Now mile 19 to 23 the support there is less. It's a bit of an industrial area, 
um, and for part of that you're heading away from the finishing line and, and you're getting to the distance where things are starting to hurt and it is becoming a bit of a tough period of the marathon. Um, so you could really do with some more support there. Now, I can understand why the supporters don't go to that bit, but it would be a good idea, I think, if they um, arrange for more bands or other entertainment to be in that part, to just offer a bit more encouragement to the runners when they're going through that tough part. The finishing line is along the seafront, and once you're approaching that, it's absolutely brilliant. You just gotta remember to, to soak it in, have a look around, soak it in, and really reflect upon what you have just achieved. So, for this part of the uh, marathon, during the race, I am gonna award it. Four point five out of five. Now let's look at what happened at the end. When you cross that line, you, it's a short walk, and then you're going to get your finishing medal. You also get a goodie bag, and this year they gave everyone a beer as well if they wanted one. There were no queues to get the bags, get you from the bag collection area. That all went very smoothly, um, and then you were free to go around the event village. Now the event village was a bit crowded but it was plenty of space on the beach where you could sit down, you could relax, or you could sit and watch the big screen that they had there and watch others finish their race. When you wanted to leave, you did have to um, queue up and cross over the route um, over a, a, foot, a footbridge. Now, so there was about a 20 minute queue to get over there and then to make your way away from the, um, the, 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 where the event village was. Um, but after you've done that, yeah, you're fine. So, for the end of the race, I'm going to award it four out of five. Guys, overall, it was a fantastic event. It was very well organized, and the crowds really made it something special. So I hope you've enjoyed this video review of the Brighton Marathon. If you wanna have a look over at my channel, which is called Here We Are Running, I've got a full race vlog of the entire event. So head over there, take a look at that. But for now, I'll pass you back to 40. Thanks very much, Chris. I really do appreciate you taking the time and sharing your views on the 2018 Brighton Marathon. Well done for finishing that. You've also done a smashing job down there in Brighton. Uh, I say get over to Chris's channel. Here we are running. I'm gonna put links below. Check him out. He's on Twitter, he's on um, Facebook, I say he's part of the 40 Runs group as well, so I say to check uh, Chris's channel out, here we are running, so links below. But that's it from me, I uh, hope you enjoyed the video, if you've got any comments, stick them below. I'm going to put a video up here, uh, which you definitely need to check out, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Thank you.